morning, everybody. Welcome to my home. My name is Becky, and I'm so excited that you're here today. So where are we right now? Halloween is over. All the Halloween has been packed away. Um, Christmas is a few weeks away. We've, we've got a little bit of time before it's time to decorate for Christmas. We can certainly think about it. We can plan for it. We can shop for it for sure. But um, I don't know that I'm quite ready to decorate, but it won't be long. Um, it's right around the corner. And... You know, Thanksgiving is not a real big decorating holiday for me. Yeah, sure, I like to decorate for fall, and um, fall and Thanksgiving are kind of the same type of aesthetic. And I do have a few pieces for um, Thanksgiving, but not enough to do the whole house. Um, probably, honestly, only enough to do a tear tray. So, what I was trying to decide, and I have really thought long and hard about what to do this year, um, I had a few people ask me, what do you do? Do you go straight into Christmas? Do you decorate for Thanksgiving? What, what do you do? Well, I do different things each year. It's kind of whatever mood I'm in. I had one year where I didn't decorate for fall until after Halloween. So I went all out for, for Thanksgiving and fall, and, and it was right after Halloween and right before Christmas, and it was really pretty. Um, this year, I looked at all the fall decor and I just I just couldn't do it. I couldn't bring it back out. <laughs> um, I really do have Christmas on the brain, but it is just a little too early right now. Um, not quite ready to decorate. So what I thought I would do is um, try something different. Um, I had packed away all of my amber glass. I packed away a lot of my regular decor, all of my Pyrex on top of my um, cabinets. It's all packed away. It's wrapped up safely and it's in the shed. I really did not want to have to bring all that out again. So what I did is I went to my little closet in my spare bedroom and you all know I have a ton of extra decor in there. So I pulled out everything out of that closet where I wouldn't have to unpack anything. This is all easily accessible. It's in that closet and I was able to decorate <laughs> everything um, with just stuff out of that closet. So what I'm decorating is there's a couple spots in the kitchen, just in the corners, um, nothing major. I've got my big Amazon shelf, I've got my hutch, and I've got my dining room table. Everything else is kind of, um, you know, just, I mean, I have some staple pieces that like the lamps and the pictures and things like that, that I, I kept, I didn't pack away. I kept it um, easy to get to. So I did bring those out. I only had like two crates full of stuff like that. So that filled the rest of the house. And then um, I have a few pictures here. You will notice that I have the garland up on top of the hutch. And the reason that that's there, and it's going to be distracting, I know it's going to be like, what? take it down, take it down, but it's I'm going to have to put it right back up in a week or two, so there's just no point. <laughs> so I'm going to have to live with it, and I hope you can live with it too, but um, I didn't put my uh, Pyrex back out because, it, you know, there's going to be things going up there for Christmas soon. So the top of my cabinets is bare. Um, it looks a little odd, but it's fine. If I can live with it, so can you guys. <laughs> so, um, what I did is I've got everything spread out here on the table and then I'm going to show you how beautiful it is. I have been collecting, um, stoneware, vintage stoneware, the floral and yeah, it's all pretty much floral. And I've been collecting that for a while and I've got a couple projects in the house over here. I've got these, those three plates on the wall using my vintage stoneware and then I used it in the bathroom. So I like to use it um, and I have an upcoming plan in the bedroom after the holidays that I'd like to use it for. But for now, we're gonna use it to decorate in here and I've you know, gotten quite a big collection. So I was able to decorate this, the Amazon shelf and the table with just what was in my storage closet. And um, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you what I have and uh, what we have to work with. I do have my tear tray that I want to put together for you for Thanksgiving because, um, because I need to. I need to do a little Thanksgiving. I don't know if that will be in this video or if it'll be a little extra video. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how much time we have. But um, I'm going to leave the centerpiece empty for that if you're wondering. 
So let's get started. I'm gonna turn the camera around. So before I show you everything that I have, I wanna show you that I have moved my table over. It used to be long way like this, and I've made it this way, and it's really helping with the glare from the windows. Um, you know, I've struggled with that in the past with being able to film in here. So it seems to be helping. And then the other thing is when I film um, back here with my Amazon shelf, I've got a lot more room to work with over here. And I've got to get the telephone company to come and move this, <laughs> this wire because it's driving me nuts, but just ignore it for now until I can get it fixed. But okay, so here is my little um, stash from my closet. All of this was in that closet and there, yes ma'am, there are still more, there's still more in there. <laughs> but we're going to take all of these goodies. Isn't it beautiful? Look at all these colors. Oh my goodness. Look at all this stoneware. I've been collecting it for a while. A lot of it I got when we went to Johnson City, Johnson City, Tennessee. Um, thrift stores, anti, I mean wherever I could find it. Some of them I only have one piece and some of them I have a whole set. Um, let's see, where's the one I just got this set here, I believe it is. I just got that at the thrift store this week. And then there's smaller pieces to it. And there's also bowls. Um, I got this set at the thrift store this week. This one's new. And then it's just kind of a beautiful rainbow all put together, I think. I just love all of it. And then um, this set here... Let me show you these. I, I was sent, these were sent to me in um, some friend mail from my friend Julia. And she sent me five and one of the cups broke. So she sent uh, the cup and the saucer and I love them. Aren't they beautiful? Look at the daisies on there. And um, these little salt and pepper shakers are new. I got those at the thrift store this week. And then I've got all of my green glass because that I keep in my little closet in there. And I'm bringing out my little dish drainer again. Haven't used that in a while. And then we've got our trashy romance novels over here. We've got some doilies and we're gonna put everything together. And then this little piece right here, isn't this cute? This was another piece of friend mail, uh, Miss Moose sent me that she's really sweet to send that to me her mom made this in the 70s i believe and her mom's initials are on the bottom and i just thought that was so special that she sent that to me i love this little mushroom isn't it cute so we're going to use that and we are going to put all this together we're going to decorate this shelf we're going to decorate the table and we're going to decorate the hut. I also have this little shelf here that I need to put a few things on. This corner over here in the kitchen and this little corner over here we've got to decorate. I thought I would start with my hutch first just because it's the biggest piece and it's got it's going to take up a majority of what's on the table and um, I'm not going to I'm going to be completely honest with you all. I had this put together ahead of time. This is not us decorating together. This is me showing you after I've already decided where everything's gonna go. So, I actually made a little cheat sheet here, a little sneak peek of what it's gonna look like. <laughs> so I'm gonna be referring to this while I'm decorating so that I know that I've put the plates back in the same order that I had them before. So what I'm gonna do is start with the bottom shelf and then we'll just do a shelf at a time like we normally do. I don't know if I should be embarrassed by the fact that I'm able to decorate all of this with stuff out of my closet. <laughs> I just love to collect. I love to buy it. I love to look for it. I love everything about it. So it, it, this is me. <laughs> this is how I am. All right, we're going to start with this beautiful plate. Like I said, I got this one this weekend at the Habitat for Humanity and they were 75% off. So I, I think I paid $5 for all of them that I got. It came with some bowls and some mugs and I got a whole box full of them. And then this one's gonna go in the middle. This is one of my favorites. I only, I only have one of those. So the thing is, I'm gonna have to cover some of these. Like I'm gonna cover these two at the end with these smaller dishes, but everything that's covered is still displayed somewhere else on the shelf. So every single 
pattern is in view at some point. So these were the ones that I found this past week as well. I got a big set and some smaller ones uh, to go with it to match. So I'm gonna put these in front here. I did try to do it a little differently. I had these pushed all the way over and then I would have those in the middle. But whenever the whole shelf got decorated, it was too much. It was, my eyeballs were just screaming. So I had to combine them a little better. And um, I like it better like this. And like I said, you can still see each pattern because I have duplicates of some of the patterns and it's fine. So we're gonna put this little green dish here. I found this the other day in one of my books and I can't remember who made it, but I got it for $2 at one of the thrift stores. Um, I can't remember who made it. I'll have to look it up again, but I was looking something up for somebody and they were asking me a question. I pulled out my, my book and I found it and I didn't realize that it was in my book. And then I'm adding these green drinking glasses. We've used these before to add some, a different um, texture up there. All right, let's move on to the second shelf. The next shelf we're gonna do is going to, we're gonna use these. Um, I got this one, I only have one of these. It's one of my favorites again. I'm gonna put it in the middle. And then these I have a whole set of, and I've shown you these before. I have big ones and little ones with the same pattern. I'm gonna put those on the end. And then this is one of my favorites. These I got in Johnson City. And I have two little ones of these. Actually, I have four of these, but um, we're gonna use two now. And then over on the corner, we're gonna use some of our trashy romance novels. I brought you in just a little closer so you can see a little better. I'm gonna put this uh, dually down first. And I think you're crooked. You're very crooked, but it's okay. I'm gonna put some no um, books here and then I'm gonna use some to, let's see. Put it like that. I think that's how I had it. And then we're gonna use the um, dishes that Julia gave me. I'm gonna put stack two here. And then I'm going to stack two here. Like that, that stacks perfectly. And I'm gonna put some greenery in there. Move that over so you can see the dish. These are the little greenery picks that I spray painted orange for the fall. I'm reusing those as well. I didn't pack them away, I just kind of pulled them out. All right, so there's shelf number two. I'll let you see it. So I'm gonna climb up my little ladder here to do the third, third row. I'll still show you what I have though. So these are some of the ones that I got in Johnson City, Tennessee. We talked about these. The only difference in these, this, this is a heavier plate and it says it's made in Korea. My other plates, I don't know where they're made. I think they're, I think they're made in Japan. Um, but my, my, these particular ones are made in Korea. They're just heavier and the paint job is in my opinion, just a little sloppier, but they're still beautiful. Um, I still love them. So I'm gonna put these over here on the ends because I have two of them. And then this one's gonna go in the middle. I only have one of this one. It is one of my, <laughs> the ones in the middle are all my favorite because I wanted them front and center. I'm gonna do that. And then for the pieces on the end, I'm gonna use two different ones. So we're gonna use these. Okay. And then we're just gonna put this, we're gonna mimic the bottom row and just put some green glasses. Just keep it simple. Okay, 
that you see that. And we're gonna move up to the fourth and top row. So I'm gonna climb back up and show you what we have to work with with our final shell. Okay, for the middle, wait, I think I'm missing something. Hold on, I'm missing something. It won't take me but a second. Okay, yeah, I was missing something. Okay, uh, for the middle shelf, we're gonna use this one. And then for the, for the edges, we're gonna use this one. And then in the front, I forgot something again. Okay, and then the front of the ones on the edge, we're gonna use these. Okay. And then we're gonna use some more of my new glasses here, mugs. Okay, let me get up here without falling. Here. Okay. And then, I know, I don't think you can see that very well, can you? I'll do you a close up in just a minute so you can see better. But over here on this other side, let me turn this way so you can see. I know you can't see that, I'm sorry. But I'll give you a close up in a minute. We're gonna come over here in this little corner and decorate it up a little bit. We're gonna start with a doily. And then I'm gonna take some more of the Trashy Romance novels and just kind of lean them up. And then we're going to, I need to grab these little bowls real quick. I'm gonna use some of these little plain stoneware bowls. And those again. I'm gonna put these here, like that. And then put my little mugs up here. And then we're gonna put some more of the greenery to kind of doll it up a little bit. Okay. I like for the greenery to kind of be hanging a little bit, so I just kind of manipulate Sorry, it. I'm not sure. I think that was, <laughs> Alexa, turn off. I wasn't talking to you. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna show you a close up. So here is what it all looks like put together. And hold on, I'll turn my lights on for you if you like. That's what it looks like with the lights on. I usually don't decorate with the lights on because it kind of glares, but I'll climb up there and show you the top shelf in a second. But there's that. It looks really cute, I think. I've been enjoying it a lot. And I like this better than the Corel dishes because it's not so stark white. And it just kind of, my eyes, my eyeballs take it better. <laughs> but there you go. Hold Here's on. you a close up right there. I love my little glasses and um, saucers that Julia sent me. They're so cute. All right, that's the top row. And second row. I think if I had to pick a favorite out of all of them, it would be that one. It's so pretty. Down one more. Let me. I'm scooting down on my ladder, so if I'm a little shaky, I'm trying not to fall. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. <laughs> I forgot to put the candy dish out. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna move this candy dish up there because that's where I was supposed to put it. It kind of blended in, and I forgot to put it up. Okay, let me fix that. There we go. All right, there it goes. And like I said, I'm gonna leave the greenery up there just because um, in a week or two, I'm gonna be decorating for Christmas. I don't wanna have to hang it again. But there's my whole hutch. And we're gonna move over here next to this Amazon shelf. We're gonna have a lot of fun over here as well. This is so much better. I have all this room to work with. I have so much room for activities. <laughs> okay, 
We're gonna start with the top shelf and it's gonna be very, very simple. We're gonna put our little sunflower um, pitcher back up. I'm not gonna hang it. I'm just gonna lean it up against the wall and it'll be fine. I'm gonna put this over here first. Everything, um, everything that you see on the shelf right now is kind of like my staples. My pictures, a couple of plants, which is down further, a uh, book or two for, for height, but it's kind of the same thing that I use. Even with any way I decorate the shelf, I use these staple pieces. So this bowl up here is one that David made. And if you notice, it's got different lines in it. He just used all different types of wood and he molded them together and then carved it out to make that beautiful dough ball. And um, I just think it's beautiful. I think it's a piece of art and it needs to be displayed. So that's why it's sitting up there like that. And then I'm gonna put another one of my stoneware dishes up there. I'm just gonna put that one there and that's enough. I don't need a whole lot because I already have so much up there. So just that one is all I need for that shelf. Next row, we're going to put one of my absolute favorite pieces of decor in my whole home. This is a plate that I've had for a long, long time. This is when I tell you about the colors of my soul. This is the colors of my soul. <laughs> I love this plate and I would be absolutely devastated if anything ever happened to it. There's no markings on the back of it. I don't know who made it, um, but I love it and I would be, broken hearted if it ever broke. So I'm gonna put that up first. And you can see I have some of my pictures over here. I wanna keep those up as staple pieces. And then the next thing I'm gonna use, I have these little Homer Laughlin um, saucers that I just use for height. They're very plain, but the colors are nice. It's just an off-white. And I just use them to um, add a different height on the shelf. Then I have these two pieces of stoneware. I have two of these and um, I have a bigger dish just like these over on my wall, but I only have two of the smaller ones. So how I'm gonna display this is I'm gonna sit one of them down here and then display the other like that. And push it back just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of greenery in here to just kind of add some more texture. And then I have these little salt and peppers that I got at the thrift store. They're um, stoneware as well. And we're gonna add them to our little stoneware collection. All right, let's move down to the next shelf. The next shelf, we're going to pull out our, let me get my hands on it, okay? We're gonna pull out our antique dish drainer. I got this at a an antique store not far from me. It's one of my absolute favorites. I was talking to the owner um, yesterday and she's going to put out her Christmas decor about the 15th. And let me tell you, she is just so gifted when it comes to displaying her, um, her shop up. So I want to do a, you know, a little shop around, um, of her store. And I got this from her. It was very reasonably, reasonably priced and most of her stuff really is. And she just has some unique items. I love her little store and I love to shop there. So I'd like to, um, do a little um, spotlight on it one day, one day soon. So I'm gonna put this up first and I'm gonna put it at an angle. And then we're going to, I don't know why I did that. It's not rusty. <laughs> it's not rusty at all. I don't know why I did that. All right, and then I got this little apron when we went to Johnson City and I want this apron to kind of hang out of the side here. Like it's like you just did some dishes and you're done. You're taking off your apron and just sitting it there to dry. And, and you, you know what I'm trying to say. All right. And then let's see. We're going to put, hold on. Yeah. All right. So I have some more of these. I have two of these big ones and I'm going to sit them in the dish drainer. This is the only one that is broken. And so I didn't want to display it up on the shelf. I'm just going to kind of hide it. So I'm going to put this here. And then I have some smaller dishes that we're going to put in the dish drainer. I have these. These are kind of my leftovers. So I wanted to use them all. And I'm just going to kind of stick them in there. Okay. 
do that. All right, and then I have shown you these glasses before. I picked them up at different times and both times I only had one and I absolutely loved them and I could not leave them in the store. So if I can find more, I might be able to do a display with them, but I only have two now. So I'm gonna put these in the dish drainer as well and just kind of let them lay there. Isn't that cute? I love that, I love it. And then we're gonna pull out my soul canisters. Again, these are the colors of my soul. <laughs> I have two of these. I got these on an antique trip my husband and I were taking one time. I'm gonna put one here up on this little book just for a little bit of height. And then I'm gonna put the smaller version down here. And then we're gonna put a little bit of greenery in here. So let me add that real quick. Oops, oops you break. Don't you do it. Okay, there you go. Okay, so there's that shelf. I'll show you a close up of all the shelves when we're done, okay? We're gonna go down to the next one here. All right, I'm a little lower down to the ground now. I'm actually on my knees. <laughs> so I can't stay like this long, but we've got a couple more dishes we want to, ha uh, to put up. I've got this one, and can you guess what I'm gonna say? Yep, this is another one of my favorites. I'm gonna put it up first. This shelf is kind of already decorated with just the staples. We're just gonna make it better and uh, add a little groovy to it, okay? So we're gonna put this here first. And then I've got these two small ones. I've used these over there in the um, hutch already, but so I'm gonna use the other two. And I'm gonna sit one down flat and then display the second one. And these two uh, plates just complement each other really nicely. So I like those together. And then I've got my groovy little mushroom that Miss Moose sent me. And I'm going to put it right here. And I think that's the perfect place for it. I love it. It matches this decor perfectly. I love it. I don't normally do a lot at the bottom just because, well, before I moved the table, you really couldn't see the bottom all that well. Um, you can see it a lot better now. So I might do a little more at a different time, but I always get stumped by the time I get to the bottom shelf and I don't really know what to put there. These are my staple pieces. I kind of have um, some old books and this little, I don't know what, it's like an architectural piece. I don't know, it's kind of like a medallion. I like it, I, I like the wood um, color and I like it's a different texture, so I do use that a lot. And I'm just gonna add one of my old plates that I have, this is, Ironstone, it's not what I've been using, but it's still a beautiful piece. And I love this. When I first bought my house and we had a room above the cabinets, how I had them decorated is with sunflower dishes. That's how my sunflower dishes, dish collection started. And I have all of my sunflower dishes in my china cabinet over there. And um, it was really cute on top of the cabinet. Maybe one day I'll re redo that and revisit it and try something different. But that's why I have so many of these sunflower dishes because I, I collected them. And if I'm not mistaken, the plate that I showed you earlier, the sole plate, I ended up getting that along the same time as this. But that's been about 16 years that we've lived in this house. And so that was around the time that I started buying them. So. Um, they're pretty old. So, <laughs> I don't want to say, thank God I haven't broken any because the next thing I'm going to do is break one because we've seen that happen. But um, I, I've, I love them and I've never put them away. I've always used them to decorate with. Here's everything all put together on my little Amazon shelf. I love all these colors put together. The greens, the oranges, the yellows. I just, I just love it. I love it all. And um, if I didn't love my amber glass more <laughs> and my depression glass more, I may keep this out more during the year and switch it out for you. But um, I don't know, who knows what I'll do. My mood changes a lot and my styles change a lot, but I, I'm still so in love with my amber glass and my um, depression glass right now. I just wanna display all of it. Let me back up and let you see everything all together. Uh oh, there's a ladder behind me. Hold on. Try not to fall. Okay, 
there it is all put together. All right, so we, we don't have as much left on the table as we did, but we've got a few things to decorate in the kitchen. So let's do the kitchen real quick, and then we'll come back and we'll use these final pieces on the table. The kitchen won't take long at all. So this is my little shelf that I got from Hobby Lobby. I've told you about this shelf before. I ordered it online. It came to me broken. So this is what I deal with all the time. <laughs> I deal with that all the time. Um, so <laughs> these are uh, these little trivets I keep up here all year long. They fall all the time, but I like the I like to have some height on there and I like the simpleness of the wood and it just adds a different texture. It's like a background piece. They serve no purpose. They're just for looks, but that's why I have these trivets on here. And then I have a couple pieces of greenery. So we're gonna first start by adding these owls. I've had these owls for a long, long time. They're left in, no. They're not left in, they're Japan. They're Lego Japan. So there's some of my coveted pieces of, um, of decor. I keep them in, I have a whole collection of little owls in my craft room. So I keep them on that shelf. It's just, just a little collection that I have, but I brought these out for a special occasion because they match so perfectly. And I'm gonna put them right there. And then I have some green glass that I'm gonna add. I have this beautiful candy dish and we'll add some candy to it later. Not right now though. And then I have my salt, um, cream and sugar set that I'm gonna put down here at the, at the bottom. And that's enough for now. Like I said, I'm not going crazy in here because everything's gonna be changed in a week or two. So it's just simple. That's all we're doing, it's just simple. And here's a close up of everything. Aren't those cute? I love them. All right, and then next we're gonna come over here to this corner. It needs some dolling up. I like to collect green and orange. I like the green avocado glass and I like the amber glass. The amber glass wins out <laughs> every time. It's gonna win out. So on occasions like this where I can use my little collection of avocado glass, I'd like to because I do love it and David loves it. And the first thing he said when he came in is I really like all the green. So there's more of green tones in here than I normally have. I'm kind of slowly trying to add it in. Um, you know, I bought some green, or David bought me some green Pyrex, so that's gonna be my inspiration to start adding some green in this house because he does really love it. But we're gonna start with this piece. I bought it a while back. I have not used it because I didn't really have a place to use it. I was planning on letting Salem like eat off of it, but, um, I pulled it out and it kind of looks like Thanksgiving a little bit to me, but I pulled it out mostly because of the green. So I'm gonna use this as a backdrop in this corner and it'll hide the cord also from the lamp. So we're gonna put that there. And then these little um, dishes were here before. I didn't add those, those were already there. That's like my little staple piece. So I'm gonna put a little doily there and then I showed you this in the past. This is my little, it is, it's Japan. Royal Sealy is what this is. And I have this piece and two cups. It's got, the handles are beautiful. I love it. We're gonna put that there. And then I've, it, came, it came with two mugs. So I'm gonna put the, one there and one there. And that's gonna be that little, that little corner. And I think that's cute and simple and, you know, just enough is all we need. And here's the close up. And I just used some books to um, give us a little height. And these lamps came from Hobby Lobby. There's one in my bathroom as well. And I really like them for under the cabinets. They just give the perfect amount of light under there. So we're at my little nook in my kitchen. This is the last little place we're gonna decorate in here. We're not gonna go crazy in here. Um, I keep these little staple pieces out all the time. This little wicker basket, just another layer. This little ladder, you can get these from Hobby Lobby. And this right here come from Hobby Lobby as well. It's just a little, little stool. And I put th this piece up here as something to go in the back, the background. I've moved it, I've used it in different places. That doesn't always stay here, but for now, that's where it's going. I could not find my dish towel that I usually 
put up here. I think it got packed away with the other kitchen stuff. So I pulled out this fabric. You may or may not remember this fabric. I had a, a DIY where I bought this on eBay and I made some pillows for my bed. And I actually had to make that video private because it was copyrighted. Um, I may make it public again if you're interested in seeing it, but um, it, it was copyrighted from the song uh, that was playing. So that's why it's not available right now. But I had some leftover fabric and I folded it and I'm gonna use it as a makeshift dish towel. And I'm gonna hang that there. And I think it's really cute. I love this fabric. And um, I love looking at it and I always have, I always smile every time I see my pillows in my bedroom because it's just such a pretty, pretty fat uh, pattern. So we're going to come over here and use the last, well, not the last because the last is going on the dining room table, but um, what's left of our stoneware collection. So I have this little mug holder and we're just going to hang these simple little um, mugs. There's two different patterns here that I'm using, but it doesn't matter. They can, they don't have to match. And I'm gonna do that. I had a smaller mug rat that wasn't quite so big. Uh, I gave it to Lily and now I wish I had it because this one is enormous. <laughs> it holds one, two, three, four, six mugs. So we're gonna put that here. Okay, and then I've got the saucers to the bottom of them, and I'm going to sit those there. And I couldn't find anything to go there. I didn't know what to put on top. Something needed to go there, and I looked and looked and looked, and I just couldn't find anything. So this is, it was getting to be too, too much. So I just grabbed this little um, creamer and stuck some spoons in it and just stuck that there. And then um, this last piece here. Now this is one of my fairy lamps that I have. This one is just clear. I do have an amber glass colored one. And I've got some lights on in here. I just took these little battery powered ones. These are on a timer so they kind of come off and on. And I just stuck that in there. And at night it puts off a pretty little glow here. But we're gonna put a little doily down first. I'm going to sit that there and the lights from the fairy lamp will kind of glow against that wall there. And then I've shown you my other salt and pepper shaker for fall with the little squirrels, but I actually have two. So this is one I have not used before and I love this little set. They hang like this and I do smile every time I walk by this <laughs> and I'm going to sit them right there. We don't use any of this. Nobody really touches it, so it's safe to put that there. And that's my little corner. I'll show you a close-up. Here's your close-up. You'll notice that I did add a little bit of greenery down at the bottom just because I felt like it needed it. And um, it's simple. It's nothing too overwhelming. I think it's really cute. I really love the splash of color from the makeshift dish towel. And I love the little squirrels. They're, they're my all-time favorite. So it's a cute little corner piece just enough to get us through till Christmas where we didn't have to drag everything out. And then I will show you over here, I added a little bit of greenery in this nook as well, just because I felt like it needed it. So we're, now we're gonna move over to our table. Let me get you turned around here without making you dizzy. I still have Halloween dish soap out, I gotta t or hand soap out, I gotta get that up. Um, we're gonna move over to our table. We've got, let's see. We've got another piece of that fabric we're gonna use as a table runner. We've got some chargers. I do have one of these left. Um, I'm gonna put it down at the end, but we're gonna mostly use this pattern and then this pattern here as well. So we're just gonna kind of layer it a little bit and we're gonna throw our table together. And then hopefully if I have enough time, I'm gonna do the tear tray in the middle for our Thanksgiving thing. We're gonna start with this piece of fabric. Um, like I said, I use this in my pillows in my bedroom, had some leftovers. I wanted to save every inch of it that I could. So I cut out this long runner here and it has not been finished on the edges. It's just kind of, it is the way it is. But I'm gonna lay it on top of my existing runner just to add a little color and um, texture and 
pattern to the center of the table. So we're gonna do that first. The next thing we're gonna do is add our chargers. As always, I use these that came from the Dollar General. You can find these pretty cheap now. Even if you go to Hobby Lobby, they're only like $2. But if you don't use chargers, um, I, or if I don't, let me, let me change that. If I don't use chargers, I feel like I'm, I'm missing a layer. Something's missing. Um, I tried it without the chargers and I just, I didn't like it. I, I had to have that extra layer and I just enjoy it. So that's why I always use chargers. And then we've got these dishes. I have a whole set of these. We're going to put those on next. Let me turn the camera down so you can see a little better. It's more important that you see this than you see my face. And I do a lot of clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Okay. I had, I was one short, I believe. Yeah, I was one short on these, so I used this extra one here that I had a, one extra for. So that's why I have a different one at the end. But you won't be able to tell because they're um, gonna be covered. Now these, I had a set of six of. And these were from Johnson City. They're one of my favorites as well. So we're gonna put those on top. And see, you can't tell that there's a different type of plate under there, so. Okay. All right, so that was simple. Now, let's see if we can put together our tear tray for the center. This is all I have specifically for Thanksgiving. I kept out three pumpkins, some leaves. Um, these are stickers. These are just leaves to tuck in. This is all the fall that I kept out um, just in case I needed it as filler. The rest of this is specifically labeled for Thanksgiving and I don't have a lot. I just don't. I hope I have enough to decorate this tray with but if not, well, <laughs> we're just going to go with what we got. So let me turn the camera around and put this together. I did not have this pre-planned, so we're going to be doing this real time together. All right, let's get our tear tray over here. We're going to get started. We're going to start with the bigger pieces that I own. We're going to start with this little guy right here. He was free. He was marked $18, but he was free from a yard sale. Um, it was at the end of the day. They were getting ready to take everything to the Goodwill, and I saved him from donations, so got him. And then I have these two little things. They came from the thrift store. I'm going to put them here. Little pilgrims. And then, uh, let's see, I have these pilgrims as well, but I'm going to be honest, they won't fit anywhere other than at the top, and I'm not completely sure I trust that. <laughs> So they may have to go here on the side. I'm gonna sit them here for now. That was another thing that I rescued from um, the yard sale that they were gonna give away. So I have this little Johanna Parker mug. This is the difference in Ross's prices. Um, this was $4.99 when I bought this a couple years ago, and now they're $7.99. So Ross is going up too, y'all. They're, they're not cheap anymore. Um, I'm gonna put my little, napkin holder there and I have these little napkins that say gobble 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 and put those there I know that's not in the tear tray but I want it off my off my little workspace here <laughs> so there's that okay let's see what else do we have I have this little thankful sign I'm gonna put that there and let's see I have my little Squirrel salt and pepper shaker. This is one of my favorite Thanksgiving pieces as well. I get tickled when I see <laughs> the poor little turkeys. They're getting ready to go for di go to dinner, but it was it's an actual vintage postcard. So I want it displayed in here as well. And then let's see, we got to put some stuff on the other side too. Let me see. I'm gonna go grab a couple things and I'll be right back.
just a little bit of Thanksgiving that I promised you. <laughs> it is certainly not anything um, too fancy for sure. It's just kind of thrown together, but it'll serve the purpose and it'll bring us a little bit of Thanksgiving um, joy until it's time to decorate for Christmas. So, Here's a little close up. I'll do the back as well. I stuck those little stickers on there, just kind of laid them in like fallen leaves. And um, they don't really add a whole lot, but they do, they do fill up the empty spaces, especially in the back where I don't have as much stuff to put in. Um, I don't love these two pilgrims being here, but that's the only option we have because it, they're so tall. And here's the back view and that's it that's our thanksgiving tiered tray for 2022 <laughs> if i had all my fall stuff out still i'd have a lot more to fill it in with but this is this is really all i have for thanksgiving specifically thank you all so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me and watch my video it means so much to me um all the love and support that you guys give me on this channel every week it just it's brings so much joy to me and I um, appreciate it so much. So this is probably gonna be the last video that you see for a while that is not about Christmas. We're getting ready to gear up here in a few short days and start decorating and getting the house ready. Uh, today is the eighth. My next day off is gonna be, if I calculate this correctly, about the 17th. So that's gonna be about the time that I start pulling everything out of the shed and start getting things looking a lot like Christmas around here. So make sure you have liked and you have subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the fun. So until then, I love you all and I'll see you later, bye.